Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, Kai. Good morning. <laughs> and how did you sleep? Good. You did? Awesome. So we are here at the Disneyland Hotel, the Villas, the DVC side. And we just woke up. It's the next morning. So yeah. th this is video number two of probably three or four. So if you haven't done so, go check out the first video as well and the ones after this. But welcome, welcome back. You know, uh, I slept pretty good. The bed for th three people, two adults and a child, it's kind of, it's a tight squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't have a little one that rolls around and kicks you in the face, you'll be, you'll be all right. Also the little Murphy bed over there, also very comfortable. I uh, ended up sleeping in both of them. <laughs> so <laughs> that was fun. The room, I really don't have any big complaints over. Uh, the shower was fine. Could use a teeny bit more shower pressure, but I no. like I like strong shower pressure. So what are we doing today? What are we gonna do today? Swim. We're gonna swim. Yes, we're absolutely gonna check out <laughs> both of the pools, both on the DVC side yeah. and on the Disneyland Hotel side, as you can use both. And I'm gonna show you all over the resort. So today is all going to be about showing you the Disneyland hotel, the shops. I'm sure we're going to eat some delicious food. Maybe we'll even go into downtown Disney later on. Today, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go do this. <laughs> That was the fitness center located here at the Villas of the Disneyland Hotel. Really, really nice fitness center. I do like that it is open 24 hours a day. Unlike the pool, the pool is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you can use both sides, the DVC side and the Disneyland Hotel side, regardless of which side you're staying on. But that gym was very clean. I liked that they offer uh, those protein uh, nutritional bars. They even had headphones, uh, wet, cold towels in the refrigerators, as well as dry towels at every single one of the machines. Now, one machine looked pretty cool where uh, you tap the workout that you want and it gives you that specific workout, including uh, what weight it's going to distribute. So that's pretty neat. All right, now it's pool time. Let's go. One of the things that I wanted to clarify from the video that I did yesterday was these rooms behind me, these are the garden view rooms and there are a total of eight of them. Four on the top, four on the bottom. Four of them are regular studio, deluxe studio rooms, same as the ones that we have. Two are gonna have uh, balconies and the other two are going to have the uh, patio area. The other four rooms are going to be the duo studios. That's a, just a very small room with a Murphy bed that pulls down. And again, there's going to be two on the top and then two on the bottom for a total of eight. These are the garden view rooms. There's an additional 30 some odd duo studio rooms here on the villa side. And those are 
the only ones that don't have a regular bed. They just have a Murphy bed. So it only sleeps two people, but it's also the cheapest when it comes to DBC points or if you're paying rack rate. So those are definitely popular because they're the cheapest and they're the smallest and they're ideal for two people. These are the only ones that have the garden view. The Duo Studios in the tower have patios that you can actually go out, whereas the Deluxe Studios do not have any patios. And then of course you have the one bedrooms, the two bedrooms, and then the three bedroom grand villas. You ready to have some pool fun? Let's go show them how it's done. Go show them how it's done, guy guy. Is it warm? It's cold. It's warm. Come on over here. Come on over here. There he is. Go say hi. <laughs> Who's driving the ship? Who's driving the ship? You're driving the ship. Go get behind that wheel. Show everybody how it's done. Look at all those waves. Wow. Wifey and I got a couple drinks. I got the cucumber margarita, which has pineapple juice Something. and other fruit <laughs> juices with uh, tahini on top. What did you get? I got um, passion fruit bramble. Okay, which I'm assuming has passion, passion fruit, fruit, probably pineapple. some pineapple in it. All right, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh wow, that's um pretty strong. Yeah, very sweet. Ooh. Very margarita-y. Not bad, you wanna try mine? Tell me what you think, I'll try yours. Oh, I like this one too. Oh, I like yours more. Well, <laughs> oh, this is strong. Yeah, I like it, your, I like yours more. Yours has a lot of pineapple juice in yeah, it. Yeah, it's good, but it's strong. Oh, oh. yeah. So I, I think this this one, which was called what? Passion fruit. The passion fruit, definitely more refreshing. This is the one we had yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. <laughs> they do sell this in the pitcher. Had a, serves about four of these, but it's like seventy dollars. Uh, <laughs> It's expensive here. And then this one I think was $18. So Ooh. Disney and alcohol, that means expensive. I do like yours. Too strong though. Yours is very refreshing. All right, coming up, we have a charcuterie pizza and cheeseburger. And a, and a $26 <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> so that is on its way. Thank you. Uh, all right, enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Let's see. I'm thinking this is 
This is your burger. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it looks like a standard burger. Mm -hmm. All right, you do your toppings there. All right, let's see what this pizza is looking like. Ooh. Oh, all right, that looks, that looks pretty good. That's pretty good, that's good. Very good. All right, so, you guys are wondering, what is this going to kill the bank? This is going to run you about $87.28, of course, with your tip. You're looking at about, yeah, about 100 bucks here for two entrees and two drinks. I'll tell you how it tastes. So I have to say, the, uh, the pizza was surprisingly pretty good. You know, pepperoni cheese and some ham on top. That was the charcuterie pizza. It was pretty good. And the burger, eh, the burger was just a burger. The drinks are good. They don't, they don't short you on the alcohol. It's just expensive, but that's, uh, that's Disney prices for you. We are burning daylight. So one thing that I haven't done, that I've never done before is getting on this monorail water slide. There's three different ones. You have the little baby one down here. You have the, the yellow monorail slide, which is kind of in the middle. And then you have the orange monorail slide, which is the one on the top. And that's the one I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get on. Oh no, I have horrible news on the orange monorail slide. It's closed. I don't believe this. It's all construction off. I just noticed it and I was like, oh no. And this is what it looks like. It's empty. Oh well. So, unfortunately now that the orange higher monorail slide is closed. My only other option is the yellow, medium level monorail slide. So, better than nothing. Let's do it. Well, it's short, doesn't last very long, but it's fast and it's fun. They did say that the orange monorail should have been done by the end of this month, but that ain't happening. So maybe another two weeks, maybe mid-May, it should be done, but the construction people have to come here on a consistent basis to, uh, to finish the job. But for now, the middle one is working, and it's fun. Of course, if a regular lounge chair is not up to your tasting, you can rent a cabana. I don't know exactly how much they are, but I'm gonna, gonna say that they're somewhat pricey. But there's nobody in this one, so I can kinda show you what they look like. You have your own, your own TV here, it's your mini fridge with waters some towels, amenities, lounge chair, and your own hidden Mickey. Now what I'd like to do is take you down to the main Disneyland pool so you can see what this area looks like.
you noticed, there was absolutely nobody in this pool, which is odd, right? Well, they just reopened it. If you find yourself on a busy day and nobody in the pool, that means somebody had an accident. <laughs> Usually stays closed for about an hour until they get the pH level just about right again, and then you can go back in if you so wish. I think I'll hold off on this pool. All right, I got the down low on the cabanas. If you want a full day rental, which is eight hours, that's going to be $775 for the full day. Not bad if you actually get a whole bunch of people together. If you want a half day, which is only four hours, it's $675, so $100 less for half the time. Might as well get the full day. So there you have it, $775 for a full day rental of the cabanas here at the Disneyland Hotel. If the cabanas are a little too much for you, you can rent these little pods right here. And the pods are going to be $150 for a full day and $130 for a half day. And this is basically, you just get a little table, a little pod area, umbrella. So yeah, for $150 for eight hours, I mean, makes sense again to get the full, full time. I mean, it's only $20 more than, than half the time. So there you go, that's for the pods. Some of you may have been wondering, what are all these colorful pieces behind me? Let me show you exactly what they are. All of these metal pieces are a tribute to storytelling through color. So there's always a color pattern when we go through storytelling. For instance, 2013, we have Frozen. Now Frozen uses these color patterns. You can see they're all mixed here and they all kind of coincide with the scenes that you see in the actual film. The individuals and then when they combine them. And we'll see that in sections above. When we come right over here in 1967, we had the Jungle Book. And the Jungle Book goes through these colors. And it's all a tribute to the animation process of the Walt Disney Company. In 1998, which I can't believe it's actually been that long, it doesn't even seem like it's been that long that these films came out, you have Mulan and her storytelling through her colors, more reds and darks and browns dark blues and we see that all above with a tribute into all these pieces and it's on both sides of the tower it also exists on the headrests of the lounge chairs in the pools pretty cool huh next place i'd like to show you and take you around is probably one of the most dangerous inside the fantasy shops oh boy wish me luck all right, here we go. So, unlike a lot of the other DVC towers, here at the Disneyland Hotel, you only have one main gift shop, and all of your DVC merchandise is going to be in this section right here. And I gotta say, they have a couple items that, uh, that I have my, uh, have my eye on. But this is a pretty cool up here for water for $44.99. If you are a ear collector, let your ears up here. And I've been having my eyes on this shirt because it has all of the DVC resorts, including right here, the newest one, the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. $64.99. $60, for that shirt. If you're a fan of Dooney and Burke, they have this one, but I don't see the Disneyland Hotel on here. So for that one, I would hold out until they get their Dooney and Burks updated. But this one, I do like my sun hats. And this one specifically says Disney Vacation Club. This one's going for 
$34.99. Hmm. What do you guys think? It's really big. I don't know. I don't know if this is meant for... I don't know if this is meant for guys. It's awfully large on me. I may have to skip out on this one. Oh boy, what did you find, mister? What is this? Oh my goodness. This is... What is it? What is it? Let's see. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean set. Wow. Oh, and it even comes with sand. Oh, that's... Th it comes with sand. Sand. That's going to be lovely for the house. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want the sand? Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do it without the sand. How much is this going to run? $34.99. Oh, look, it's got Pluto there. And is goofy. This what you want, or you want to go to the bigger is store? this what you want? Yeah. Is this what you want? All right. And here on the other side, they have more merch t shirts. This is the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. I don't know, these are, these catch my eye. They're like solid. Expensive, but solid. Ooh, look at this magnet. More ears. And this robe is different than the one that we have in the room. This one has this Disneyland Hotel, but the, the icon is different. Hey guys, all right, so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple model rooms here at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel. This one, room 132, it was going to be the same room that we're staying in, the deluxe studio, just a different theme, okay? So we're in the Princess and the Frog theme. This is gonna be a Sleeping Beauty theme. Let's go inside and check it out. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and this is Anne. She's one of the guides here at Disney Vacation Club. I am, I am Anne. I'm a sales counselor here at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel. If you ever have any questions, please reach out to me. All right, let's check it out. Daddy. Yeah. Oh, you like this one? So as you can see, very similar. The layout is the same. You got your queen size bed. You got your Murphy bed, but a different theme altogether. This is the Sleeping Beauty theme. And I really do like this, how it looks like it's like the actual drawing you know, or they pencil in on the bottom. A very retro. And even here you can see that the tiles are different based off of the theme of this room. All Sleeping Beauty. And here on the first level you just get a basic, basic view of, you know, walkway, garden. Of course, if you rent this room when you walk in, your family name 
will be right here on the TV. Let's go inside, check out the restroom. Should be the same as our restroom. It is. Of course, really good touches right here. The theming is different here. Sleeping Beauty here versus our Princess and the Frog. And some different artwork right here as well. And that is the one bedroom deluxe studio in the Sleeping Beauty theme. Even in the closet, how in our closet, it's Tiana's clothes. But here, see, it's a different theme here. Look, little bunnies down there. Isn't that cute? It's the little things. So, one of my favorite things here about the villas at the Disneyland Hotel is the fact that we have a mural that was specifically designed for this resort. Now, this was done by Lorelei Beauvais, and her first film was actually The Princess and the Frog, oh, right here. First animated feature. Why that's sentimental to me is because it's the second to last film that was hand-drawn. The actual last film was Winnie the Pooh in 2011. So, the villas at the Disneyland Hotel is very much an homage to Walt Disney and just an honor to what Disney started on, the animation. Next room that Andy is going to show us and, and Kai is going to be the one bedroom villa. Let's go check it out. So this is the one bedroom suite. It comes with your stackable washer dryer. And you're just hit with this wow factor, right? You have this beautiful, huge dining room table. You get your chairs, bench on this side, a sofa on this side. And this is just what kind of does it for me. That's like, wow. So, so beautiful. Again, this one is themed to Princess and the Frog. And even here, look, like you just see like up here, like the lily pads. Really, really pretty here. Again, the artwork in here is fabulous. This is the room I should have stayed in, right? You have a full kitchen, microwave, stove, oven, refrigerator, freezer, of course, all your utensils, your sink, and your TV here. Again, you're familiar with the Murphy bed that pulls down. And a single bed right here that again pulls down. Again, artwork right here. Do you like it? Is it pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. And of course, this one has a great view, right? This one has an amazing view of the pool. The hidden Mickey right down there. Here's the Frontier Tower. The Grand Californian right there. We can even see Mission Breakout. I almost said Tower of Terror. And here's this color coding that I had explained to you earlier. Which I really do appreciate. I like those a lot. I have a full size picture of Tiana here. Wow, it's big. And you have the first bathroom. Okay, this is a little bit smaller than the, than the one in the, the studio, right? Shower. Some New Orleans artwork right here. And then here you have your primary bedroom. All this space you have under here for storage. And unlike the queen size bed, here you have a king size bed. Some more artwork above the bed. And this one looks kind of interesting because it's like in different, in different levels. One, two, I'm trying to see, I think this even lights up. It looks like it lights up. You have a desk area here. Closet area here. No artwork here on this one though. And then, this is just glass right here. Your balcony is on the other level. You have a barn door, just like in our room, we have a barn door. 
And here is your primary bathroom. And this is very pretty. You have dual sinks, one on this side, another one all the way on here on this side, right? And a huge tub. No bubbles, but definitely, you know, big enough for someone of my size. And that's a nice little touch right there. Now this is really pretty, this mosaic. All these individual tiles, that is really, really pretty. Very nice. On this side, you're gonna have your shower, walk-in shower. And on the other side, which it looks like it's another shower, but it's your toilet, which is really cool. You have a glass door that's frosted right here for your toilet. So this bathroom is quite impressive. And even up above here, it's nice. Now I've seen, I've, I've seen a lot of one bedrooms. I've stayed in a lot of one bedrooms. And I gotta say, this is probably the nicest one bedroom that I have seen. So there you go. Now you've seen it. You've seen the studio. You've seen the one bedroom. I think the one bedroom is gorgeous. And like Anne said, the one bedroom here, it's kind of like when you start feeling like you're at home. You got your two bedroom, add another bedroom to it. It's either gonna be a lock off where you have a studio and the one bedroom together, or you'll just have a dedicated where there's just one, one door and you have rooms on both sides. And of course you have your three bedroom grand villa, which I'll post a picture of that right here. There's people staying in it until Wednesday, so we can't go in there. That's just a whole different level altogether, but there's only two of them here at the entire resort. And unless you win the lottery, good luck. But those are unbelievable. I think it's also important for me to point out in no way, shape or form am I affiliated with Disney Vacation Club except for being a personal owner myself. This video is not sponsored by Disney Vacation Club. All of my thoughts are my own. If I have something negative to say, I'm gonna let you know. If I have something positive to say, which I'd say most of the things that I have been mentioning here are positive, I also want you guys to know that as well. This is a really good resort. I'm specifically talking about here the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. They really were true to Walt Disney. Going back into the 1950s, feeling that nostalgia. I feel that nostalgia of coming back to this resort. They're true to the storytelling, which is what Disney is all about. It's about storytelling. Yeah, it's a company. Yeah, it's about making profit. But behind all of that corporate mumbo jumbo, it's about what really puts a twinkle in our eye. And that was Walt's dream. And if you come here, I think that's what you're gonna get. Do me a favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future uploads, yada, 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 you know the drill. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love giving you guys the facts. I love showing you all around. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful view this is here at the Disneyland Resort in Southern California. I'm so blessed to be here. I'm so blessed that you guys were here with me and I'm so blessed that you were here to show us around. Thank you so much. Everybody give it up for Anne. Oh, thank you. It's been my absolute pleasure. She's been awesome. I hope I see all of you here at the Disneyland Resort to see the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. Um, and again, it's as magical as he explained it. So. You know what's better than the Disneyland Hotel, the villas? It's the cast members. That's what makes it happen. Welcome home. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.